Hello guys! In this video we will learn how to make cams for many games. So before starting the tutorial I'll show you what is cams and how it works. By using the cams we can change the color of objects like we are changing the zombies color now. We can also change the color of buildings etc. So let's start our tutorial. First, open the MT Manager app. We are going to add cam features in Android. Mod Menu V2.9 Original. And we are going to make cams for Subway Surf. And if there is additional time left then, we will also make for Stumble Guys. We need to download cams files too. I'll give the link in description and comment. Just go to the link and enable desktop site. Then download the file. I am copying it in same folder. So now we will extract the Android mod menu. You must have basic knowledge of mod menu to make cams if you don't have then watch the mod. Menu tutorial video. I'll give the link in description. This is the Eat app which is used to make mod menu. As I already mentioned that you need to watch mod menu tutorial video to know how to install and use this app. I'm going to change or modify some codes which are not useful to me. You can also do it to make your project look clean. I'm removing ARM64 and by 86 cause I'm modding ARM7. I'm removing hooks, cases, etc. Examples because unnecessary hooks might give problems in my menu and you can also do it. But make sure you don't remove important codes. I'll also change the toast for now. Don't forget to change target libnum. Now open to the mod menu folder and go to JNIV includes folder. Now open the cams file which we downloaded. There are many cams available but you can use any one of them. Let me see which one is better for me. I finally decided to use Hensry cams. Copy the chams.h into includes folder. Now switch back to ADAP. Open the main.cpp of Hensry cams in MT Manager. Copy the features. Now replace our mod menu codes with the code we just copied. Replace text with category and seek with seek bar because there is nothing like text and seek in our menu. Now copy the cases. Now again replace our menu cases code with copied one. My heart like an ocean in, my head. in default they counted category with queso, but in our menu category isn't counted. 
That means button underscore default camps is case zero. Well, this is all basic stuff, so just watch mod menu tutorial video for more details. So to make our cams work, we need to change assign numbers of buttons or cases. Like the cases is started with one so you can. Make it zero or just add assign numbers in features like one underscore button, to underscore button, etc. In my case, I'll just add one button which does nothing but takes case zero so the next button starts with case one. Now we'll copy and add variables. Paste to the exact place where I do. Now copy hashtag includes. And paste it below others hash includes. To avoid compilation, error replace with. Now select and copy the code which I am selecting. And paste it in the place where I am pasting. Since there is already condition to check. Target lib name loaded, so we'll replace our condition with other lib name. In LGL menu, default lib name is lib my lib name dot so. So I'm writing it. If you are using others menu, then it might be different. You can check the lib name in Android.mk. Seems like everything is done. Now you need to change the shader name. By default there is underscore bump map, but you need to change it according to game. If you don't know what is shader and how to find it, then don't worry, I'll teach it too. Since I'm modding Subway Surf, and the shader for Subway Surf is underscore main text, so I'll write it. Now we just need to compile our mod menu and we are done. If you direct click on run icon to compile menu, then sometimes it doesn't compile properly which cause the menu crash. So it's better to go to more than refresh build. Okay, so we got some errors so let's see where did we do mistake. Oh, I forgot to change lib name to target lib name. Now let's compile it again. It should work now. Let's install and see if the menu is working or not. So our menu is working fine. Now we just need to add it to Subway Surf.
I'll create one folder to store mod app. I have purchased VIP for MT Manager so I can edit XML file directly with MT Manager. But if you don't have VIP subscription, then use app till M. You can watch my mod menu tutorial to learn to use that app. I already taught where to paste those codes, etc. in my mod menu tutorial, so just watch it. All the steps I'm doing right now are steps of implementing the mod menu into game so just watch the tutorial video if you don't understand this. Now we just need to add lib and dex. If you don't see build folder then enable app output. Directory option in AID and again compile it. Since there is three classes dex, so we need to rename our dex to classes for dot dex. And since both have our maybe v7a lib only so, we don't need to remove any lib. Now just copy the lib and classes dex to app. Now let's install it. Let's check if our cams is working or not. As you can see our cams is working. You can use all option of cams to make it looks cooler. As you can see we made the color to rainbow. As you can see it's very easy to make cams for Unity games because you just need to find shader and finding shader is also very easy. Multiple shaders works for same game. Like underscore maintex is used to change color of everything in subway surf. Underscore displacement is used to change the color of trains only. By the way, I'll give the link of this project in description. So you don't need to do everything yourself. So now let's learn how to find shaders like Maintex, Displacement, etc. because that's the most important thing to make cams. To find the shader, you need to download cams menu app. I'll give the link in description and pin comment. But you need to have premium subscription to use. This app but don't worry you can get premium subscription for a month for $2.50 and also. You'll get offset tester subscription as well. So now you just need to implement the cams menu into game. Implementing cams menu is same like other menu.
It's more easy to implement CAMS menu because you'll get implementing code direct NAP. As I mentioned many times, that you need to watch mod menu tutorials to learn implementing menu into game. So our camps menu successfully added to game. In most of the game shaders loads only after you start the match. As you can see 150 for shaders already loaded. But from here only few shaders will actually work so you need to test every shader one by one. Anyway, don't worry. This app not just extract the shader, but also allows to live. Test it so it makes your work very easy. At first I choose underscore main text and now I am choosing. Underscore displacement so like this you can test all shaders. So you can see after choosing underscore displacement. Only trains colors changed so you can choose shaders according to your need. You can also copy and export shaders. Exported shaders located to Android Data Game Package Name Files As you can see, all the shaders are exported in text file. Also, you can enter custom shader. Our tutorial ends here. I hope you understand how to make cams. You can comment in this video if you don't understand anything, or you can join my Telegram group to direct contact with me. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.